empty spaces here. This one's so big you can actually walk right into it. And the food bank says the food tends to fly right off the shelves as soon as it arrives. And that's for the needy people who can actually make the trip up to Milford. Call it a sign of the times. A line of cars waiting for free food in Lewis Thursday. At each car, volunteers packing food into the trunks of needy people, including Lorraine Jones. I'm not too proud to come to receive, and I'm glad that I did, and I appreciate everything that y'all did today. The food bank's mobile pantry takes food to low-income communities and people it may not otherwise reach. The organization says it had to cancel the program this year because of funding. Then, it says a nearly $5,000 donation from Pickstar arrived to pay for the food. And the president says he wants others to step up. But I would certainly challenge all of the other organizations and businesses in their local communities to step up to the plate and help, especially during this economic downturn. The food bank says each of these boxes carries about 40 pounds worth of food. That's enough to feed a family of four for about a week. This morning when we got here, there was actually a wait. There was, you know, people standing in line. Branch manager Crystal Timmons says volunteers gave away dozens of boxes of food. Bag by bag, they say they help feed others. I feel like I see soda, bread, and I don't know what else is in the box. But I'm sure some goodies is in there too. Goodies courtesy of a good deed that put this food on the road to needy families. And the food bank says the mobile pantry relies on donations. They say they hope to hold a similar event just like this sometime later in the, in the year. We're live tonight in Kent County. Michael Lopardi, WBOC News, Milford. All right, Michael.